in this lecture we will see about the door setting so for that first of all you need to select the door you can see the door tool and after that you just simply need to enter control t to to bring back uh, uh, the options okay so as you can see here on the left side uh, here uh, we have uh, these different doors available that is hinge door rotating door you can see how this one is looking sliding door there are many more options here okay as you can see from here as well okay so now that uh, we have seen this thing so what i will do is i will go here and choose this hinge door and after that i will scroll up you can see in hinge uh, doors 24 we have these uh, doors available and what i will do for my project i'm going to select this door as you can see door 24 is selected and here first of all after that let's go to this preview and position this is the first tab here so if you look at here you will see that this is the width of uh, that door and this is the height of the door and if you look at the story uh, sill to story okay you will see that is 100 uh, uh, m that is uh, how far uh, how how much uh, it will be at the distance from the uh, story okay so i will make this one zero obviously and from here on the right side you can see that we have this a uh, plan view if you go ahead and switch on this one you will see that this is uh, with the 2d view you can see and if you look here you will see that this is exactly the 3d view as you can see here okay and if you look from here this is the image of that door so from here you have uh, these four options available so what i will do is i will uh, keep this one to 3d okay and now uh, you, now that we have understand this thing we will go ahead and close this uh, preview and positioning let's close this one so here if you look at the hinge door setting you are going to get all the possible settings of the door and if you go here and click here you will see that there are lots of options available so you really don't need to remember all these options of course so what i will do is i will just simply first of all go to this first one and here uh, what i will do is right now you can see that this is the wall hole dimension as you can see here so this time i will go and choose this phone number that is eagerness dimension okay so in this way you have to change these things on and now after that we i will just simply click on next to see that if i want any kind of uh, uh, door leaf or if i want to make any kind of changes in these here so as you can see here that this is a long list you just don't need to remember anything you just need to select the first one and after that you just simply need to keep scrolling the things okay this is very easy you just simply need to select on this one right now we are at nominal sizes and tolerance just simply click on that next one you can see that uh, we have this totally if you click on this one you will get all these uh, different options here so what i will do is i will go uh, if you choose this let's say hv grid then you have that option of the grid as you can see here that the detail level is here and you will get all these things so right now what i will do is i will stick with this style one okay this is a basic style and if you look look at the handles you will see that we have these handle options available so i will just simply select on that one so whatever changes i'm gonna make here you can see that one in uh, review and position so let me show you okay so now you can see that how this one is looking you can see the handle here okay okay so now after that what you have to do is you have to again click on hinge door setting and here in this thing you will see all these details that we have just set up after that i will just simply click on this one and here we have this uniform width if you want this one you can just tick mark on this one if you don't want this one you can just simply and tick mark on this one and after that what you have to do is you have to just simply click on next one so here you will see that if you have any kind of natural uh, ventilation you can just simply click on that one if you don't have any kind of natural ventilation you can just simply untick that one so as of now i'm going to turn this off and again you have to click on next and you have this style is selected uh, in the previous tab okay again you have to click on this one you need to uh, now this is tab for the handle again you have to click on this one and here if say you have a door you you have the door type and all these things are available again you have to click on next 2d symbol display that is fine let's click on next 
and here we have the model attribute let's click on next so if you are uh, looking at this thing you will understand that we don't need to change each and everything but it is a uh, uh, but I am uh, suggesting you that you should uh, keep going through all of these so that if you want to make any kind of changes, you can make it there. So as you can see here that this is reverse. So if I want any kind of reversal, I just simply need to, let's say I will make this one 50. Okay. And now you can see here. Now let's again click on next. So here we have this reversal. If you make this one zero, you will see the difference here. You can see that has been going to this step. If you have these kinds of reversal, you can choose that from here as well. So, but I'm going to stick with this 50. That is fine. And after that, I will click on next. And here uh, we have the closer type. You can see that we have these uh, no closer here. And if you look at no closer, you will see there's nothing. This is a thickness limit. If you want uh, to change this one, you can change that one as well. Again, let's go to the next tab and here we have this uh, masonry arc. Uh, if you have any kind of arc, you can just simply select on that one. And in that you have uh, these options available, but I will just simply untick this one. Let's go to next one. This is the model attribute. Okay. So as you can see here that uh, we don't have uh, much more detail here. So let's go ahead. Here we have also the fixtures and fittings. So uh, yeah, so if you want to make any kind of things that is uh, the ceiling uh, and the casing is outside and inside, you can tick mark that one. If you don't have that, you can just untick that one. So we have these details here. So let's go ahead and see. If you have threshold, you can just simply click on the threshold and here you can put the value. So I'm going to untick this one. Let's go to the next tab. And here, if you look at the still, uh, if you have still door, you can put the seal here and from here you can choose the seal type as you can see here that this will this can be timber seal brick seal or stone seal but right now i don't uh, want to place that one so i will just simply untick that one and after that i will simply click on this one here so this is casing outside you can see here that uh, if you have casing outside you can see this is similar to the casing inside so let's simply click on next this is an inside casing. You can see this is inside casing. Simply click on next. If you want to make any kind of changes, just simply put the value. So let's click on next here. So this is shunt shed. If you have shunt shed, you can just simply click on that one. And from here, you can actually choose uh, the option here. You can see, you can see if you have that one. So right now I don't have the shunt shed. So I will just simply untick that one and let's, let's go to next. And here we have this uh, model attribute. If you want to change this color, you can see that this is casing outside. This is casing inside. If you want to change this color, you can change that one as well. So right now I don't want to make any kind of changes here. So let's click on next again. Okay. We have floor plan and section that is looking fine. I don't think so that you need to make any kind of changes here. Let's go to next and you can see the minimal spacing is uh, there. If you want to make any kind of changes, you can just set it out here. Let's go to next tab and here in the description, you can put the cost, you can put all the details, whatever you want. You can see the finish hinges and lock set as well. So this is the end of whatever uh, we are doing the door setting. And if you look, look closely, you can see that we have gone through all these from this nominal size and tolerance to this description. So in this way, you have to set up your doors. So after that, what I will do is I will just simply click on. Okay. So these are some of the important settings that you, that you need to keep in your mind before setting up the doors. In this lecture, we will look at the window settings. So for that, you just simply need to select the window first. Okay. Just select the window tool here. And after that, simply enter control T to bring the settings. So here, as you can see here that I've selected the window 24 and just like the door setting, we have these options available. If you look here, you will see the plan. You will see the 2D. You will see the 3D view and you can also look at the preview image. So, so I will set this to 3D and if you look at the sill height, you can see that it is set as uh, one meter that is thousand mm. 
so that is fine here and if you look at the width and the height of the, this window here you can see this is what it is and if you click here and if you go to this basic window setting you are going to see the same option as whatever we were getting in the door option just like that okay so you know how to approach this thing you just simply need to select this one click here right now we are at the frames and slashes okay so we have to start from the nominal sizes and folders let's click on this one you can have this upper uh, transom and lower transom so i'm gonna just untick this one so just to show you what exactly it is okay you can have opening type you can see you have this side hung also you can have double si sliding mirror so how it's gonna look like let me select this one and let's click on this uh, preview and position you can see that right now we have this double uh, slided window just we have setting and this basic window setting okay so what i will do is i will make this again to side hung okay now i will simply click on next if you want, want to make any kind of changes you can make it here let's go to next you can see if you want uniform fed width you can set it here by just clicking on that one and you just simply need to enter the value of that uniform frame width i'm gonna untick this one let's go to next the slash tab is no grid and from here you can choose a varied display option so i'm going to stick with this no grid that is fine let's go to next from here you can choose the window handle let's say i will choose this style 3 if you want and uh, if you want a uh, you can just simply, simply need to first of all you need to click on this one and after that you can choose this window handle so i'm okay with this one so i'm not going to change this one so again click on next if you have a natural ventilation you can just simply click on here and after that you can uncheck this one as well so again i will go to next and here uh, what you can see here is that we have a main sash if you want to make any changes you can make it here now let's go to next quickly symbolic uh, uh, display that is fine and here we have these settings now we have uh, these reversals if you want to make any changes you can make it there let me quickly go okay I this in pictures and fittings if you want any changes i guess that we don't need to guide that right now let's go ahead quickly it is just like the doors okay and if you want to put any kind of cost or something like that uh, you can put all these things here so this is how you have to set up the window and after that i will just